Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now YouTube has just bought me my dream bike and I'm going to tell you all about it. Now there's something about the Triumph Street Scrambler 900 that just makes me smile. It's one of those bikes I've wanted for such a long time, but justifying buying it hasn't been something I've been able to do. But because the channel has grown and grown and grown, and the thing of it is, is that I'm doing product reviews on motorcycles and working with brands pretty much continuously in between riding the weld on my Honda monkey bike. And for that reason, this Street Scrambler makes perfect sense because when I'm reviewing products, I'm having to put them on and take them off and put them on and take them off in regards to different ones. And I needed a bike that was super easy to work on. Now forget that it's on my pinup dream list of motorcycles and this is the best excuse in the world, but I generally do because I have to rely on so many other people to come along so I can put a product on their bike to get it filled it's actually quite hard work in regards to the shifts and the things that I do because I don't get those weekends off. Now there is more reasons, of course there's more reasons why I've picked this bike as well but let's jump on it, let's enjoy it for a second and I'll go into that as well but it's like I'm pinching myself because I wanted this bike for so long in this colour as well. Now this is a 2018 Street Scrambler. It's only done 1,250 miles, that's when I picked it up. So it's virtually just running as well. And it is a proper gorgeous, gorgeous Minter. So like I said, let's have a quick look at the bike and let's get out on the road. So here we go, my dream bike, the ride, and I'll explain more, but just listen. That, oh, that engine, that beautiful engine. Now, interestingly, I need to put your side stand up, Alan. <laughs> interestingly, I have just been riding this this morning, and I have laid your head on the back because I have been filming a review that you probably at this point may have already seen in regards to some new comms that are coming out. And I was like, I'm desperate to make the reveal video of this bike. Now, like I said, I bought this via YouTube. Now, I haven't literally just gone out and, and then the £7,200 that this bike costs to buy. This is based on a business decision. And like I said, let me explain. With the money that's coming in for the channel in regards to the reviews that I do, and I'm separating that from my well trip with what that produces in ad revenue, but just taking the amount of money that the reviews make, because one thing about reviews, why they're quite important to me and the channel, is one, of course, I get to talk about motorcycle products and review them. Now, I only probably 75%, I'd say, out of 100 of the companies that contact me, I actually make reviews for because 25% of them are either nothing to do with my niche or they're not up to scratch and they don't make it onto the channel for an example but the ones that do the thing about it is, is that they don't start off with massive numbers but what they tend to do is they tend to grow what they're what we call evergreen because as people are searching for motorcycle comms or a certain brand then those videos come up and that little pot trickles in and trickles in and as the channel this year especially this year has grown so much in regards to working with brands and producing obviously reviews with them then basically that pot's built up and I've had to make that business decision of going well I could really do with that pot continuing to grow but then I'm like well if I buy this bike and make it super easy for me to work on and be able to create these reviews and the reason why the scrambler as well there's another part to that is because it is an absolutely gorgeous 
bike. It's stunning. I literally look at this bike, and like I say for me, it's a poster bike. It just oozes sexiness. And that's part of the review process as well. You want something that looks good. You want something that looks cool is in those videos as well, because it, it's good for my brand and it's good for the brand that I'm working with. And it does that, doesn't it? It literally does that. It oozes the cool, the coolness. And on top of that as well, another decision why this bike is because my awesome wife, obviously Abby Ladyhead, she doesn't like going on my Africa Twin. She literally goes, I don't like it. And she used to love going on my original Bonneville on the channel. And I love that bike. It was, again, it was one of my dream bikes that I bought that I had for a few years. And even to today, I'm always a bit gutted that I ever sold that bike. So the moment that I literally pulled this out of the dealer, Ladyhead just chucked her leg on and we just went off and we were both giggling and smiling. And she was like, I love being on the back of this bike. But gave me that extra tick box as well. So this bike literally does it all. Like I said, for me, it's a dream bike and it just oozes coolness. Now this is not a review at all anyway. It's something I might come back to and do, but the power, the low down torque of this bike, that turn of that throttle, it just, it's like a train. It pulls you like a train. And the stance position with the bars to me feels slightly, slightly raised. That gives me that sort of upright being that scrambler position. Obviously I can imagine standing up and holding onto these but uber uber comfortable as well so to ride literally straight straight off is just i just gel to it absolutely gel to it and it feels super light super nimble and able to chuck around so when i'm trying to get some of the action shots in i'll be able to get them as well and be able to have that confidence to chuck the bike around as i do it it just ticks so many boxes and that's the story so this bike currently i haven't bought it outright like i said it's not seven odd grand that i've just turned around and said that's sat in the bank because i've earned all this money within like a month or any of that craziness it's a business decision that i have literally taken out a loan on this machine that outweighs by the the sort of revenue coming in from making the reviews and obviously if the reviews drop off massively then i'd have to potentially look at selling this or selling one of my bikes but if the channel continues the way that it's going then I get to keep it, basically, is the way that it goes. But to sum it up, I'm not paying for this bike in regards to, I am, because I'm working for it, if that makes sense, but it's to do with the revenue coming in from the YouTube channel that's paying for it. So literally, YouTube is buying me my dream bike. And that's just awesome. And it's nice to get to that place. And it's all thanks to the amount of people that watch it, the brands getting involved with the channel and the community that we're growing as well. So between us all, thank you very much. Because this is awesome. And I think it is the most sexiest, coolest looking machine in the entire world. But it'd be very wrong of me not to give you that 11 out of 10 ride along footage. Like I said, I've got lady head on the back. I've got this beautiful machine. So shall we make the awesome helmet head montage that we always do and have a look at this gorgeous beast. One thing I'll quickly say, this was absolutely shiny mint and as soon as I got this bike home from the dealer, I coated it in uh, Asia 50 so it's well protected because it is a minter but it's already splattered. Anyway, check out this gorgeous machine. Don't wanna waste time, I'll never be this young, I'll never be this young. Again, don't wanna chase highs when I'm too worn out. When I'm too worn out, so I, I'm never coming down.
never be this young I'll never be this young again Don't wanna waste life I'll never be this dumb I'll never be this dumb again World idiots, idiots, everyone World idiots, idiots, everyone But we sure know how So I'm sure you can agree that this bike just oozes, oozes sexiness and I just feel extremely lucky to be riding it and having it in the garage. So you'll be seeing a lot more of this awesome machine in many of the reviews coming up. The idea as well is, is that me and Ladyhead can get some adventures on it together as well when the weather picks up in summer depending on how busy the schedule gets but it should all work out really 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 well. But everything at this bike, every turn of the throttle, oh, it's just <laughs> so amazing to ride. But I will do, I will do a full review of this bike. Now we've already got, like I said at this point, we've already got a load of reviews coming up on the channel. We've got some of the latest tech going on this bike as well. And it's going to be interesting. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up. And I will see you in the next bonkers episode i hope you've enjoyed watching this one and i hope it encourages people as well to start their own youtube channel and build up their brand and make their dreams come true let's rock and roll people and i'll see you in the next crazy helmet head adventure bye bye for now